Well, this place is red. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. Here in Milwaukee, we've got game one of the National League Division Series. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Milwaukee Brewers. John shall be with you alongside Chris Singleton. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go down. And on the mound today, Corbin Burns. What's the word on him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. But he's right. He's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. The pitch. Brandon Jordan looks at one outside there. First pitch, 107. And a pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Fought off foul. One fouled off, two and two. And here it comes. And a foul ball. The two, two. And he grounds one back up the middle. And a base hit right there. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Gene Segura at the plate here. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from nope, first. The There's a ball. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. That one lifted to left. Yellow makes the play. Runner tags up for third, and he's in there as he tests the arm in left. One away on the fly. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Bryce Harper in the box with one away as he takes ball one. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Big swing and a miss. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. And yeah, 
and the righty deals. Got him. Two away. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out of bat coming up now. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. That one's in there, 0-1. Oh, one. Two outs. And one and two. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half-hearted swing. Left-hand hitter waits. That's out to center field. Taylor in position. Brings it in for the third out. Billy strand one, and now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score. We're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Bottom of the first. And today's starting pitcher, Francisco Morales. What's the scouting report on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Colt Luong. Leading up for the group. The second baseman, Colt The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Righty to the plate. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And he deals. Check swing, but he went too far. Going to count one and two. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The one two. And a ball evens the count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here's the two two. That one the other way. Gathers and throws the first. One up, one down. That is second. My goodness, Sing. That was a great diving stop and maybe even a better throw. Yeah, this out is all about athleticism. I mean, this guy did a great job knocking it down on the dive, but he doesn't get the out without the cannon of a throw. That was just impressive all around. Here's Luis Arias. First offering and it just misses. Righty delivers. Popped in the air, left side. Bryant puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. That is third. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support. And they'll see what they can do for him. Boop, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put him in a situation where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. The 0-1. Oh, now 1-1. One one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. The wind of the pitch. To third. 
And he beats the throw. He's safe. The two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and get down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. So a man aboard, Hunter Renfro at the plate. Morales throws over. Yelich dives back in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Yelich, the runner at first with two gone. 2-0 is in for a strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Next Whoa, pitch misses inside. inside. Three and one. Right-hander kicks deals. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. 3-2. And a foul ball. Pickoff throw. Yelich back on a dive. Kicks and deals. And ball four to a board. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really Not well. It. It's a really that's nice way to play. Really. So first and Not second coming. with two outs. Willie Adamas stands in. And a foul ball, third base side. Here's your one. Swings and fouls one off. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Brewers strand a couple. Scoreless after one. inning set to go here's the Phillies DH Nick Castellanos the designated hitter Nick Castellanos Burns back to work and there's the strike all one there our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. Slice down the right side. Next one misses, ball two. And the pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
to two now. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. That is good. The third baseman, Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. First offering, misses the mark. Kicks and fires. I got a ball, one strike. Out to short, Adamas collects. Ryan out of the play. Batting seven. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. And now, Reese Hoskins. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. In there, and it's 0-1. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Second inning here, no score. Next offering down in the dirt. Didn't like it. And there are two outs. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No school. Back here at American Family Field. Omar Narvaez at the play. For the Brewers. The catcher. Omar Narvaez. The right hander back to work. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. First pitch fastball in a great the spot to do some damage. He squared it up nicely. And now it's Rowdy Telez. First pitch, just misses. And the right-hander deals. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Pitch misses, and it's two and one. And here it comes. Oh, and he hit him. Now, biggest concern, other than injury, after a moment like that, is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy loses confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Keston here up to hit now. First offering is fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The pitch. Now one miss. No score here in the second.
The one two. Squirts away a little bit. Nothing happening on the bases though. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high Bad 90s, nine. you'll get away with some the of those. More field. margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And now the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. And that's in there for strike one. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. And a swing and a miss. And there's two down. Well, that's the money maker right there. Now two strikes, slider pitch. down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So the lineup flips over. Colton Wong up to him. In there for strike one. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Left-hand batter waits. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Morales, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We'll move to the third with no score. Set for the start of the inning. Here's Trevor Story now. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, Trevor. basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Come on, yeah, the right hater back to work. Oh, Just cool. missed. The 1 0. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Gone! Trevor Story bops one out of here. The Phillies score first. It's 1 0. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. The catcher. JT. First offering and it just misses. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. The middle, and that squirts through. And that turns the lineup over. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really nice job staying up, up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just right shot there. it through the infield. So the batting order turns over. Here's a speed threat. Brandon Jordan. And he's already singled in this game. 
first pitch and that's in for a strike. Real Muto on at first. Nobody out. Burns with a move to first. Real Muto back in there. Now it gets away from Narvaez. pitches downstairs with the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters swing and that ball smashed on a line he's got it runner tags it second and he makes it up to third with one away the batter number two at the plate, Gene Segura, over one so far. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. In the dirt. And the runner holds. One away with a runner at third. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. And the pitch. <laughs> Stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Right. Perfect. Now, here is Harper. Next offering is down low. And yeah, that's ball one. And a pitch. After giving up that home run earlier, just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. The pitch. Off the mark there. And that's ball three. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be. And we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Three one now. There's the strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. Go do it again. At the belt and finals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Two and 
two outs. This to third. Nice play. Over to first. And they get the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the end. And welcome back. Down the third baseman, Luis Urias. Moving on for the Brewers. The third baseman, Luis Urias. Morales back to work. Flips the corner. Strike one. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. And he deals. Strike two. Bringing the cheese on that one. Wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have well, trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age. Sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Yelich batting for the second time. And that's strike one. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. The wind of the pitch. Way high. Or two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a pitch. That one ran inside, almost got him. Swings and misses, and two away now. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, he come in all this guy in now. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Now it's Hunter Renfro. That one's in there on one. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing at two. Ahead 0-2 in the count, sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Gone in order are the Brewers. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Here in Milwaukee, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. A 
on the ground right side. Wong collects it. Fires over to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now that designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Going two now. Right side. Wong picks it up. Two up, two down. Now batting the third baseman, Chris Bryant. Two outs, bases empty. And now for the Phillies, Chris Bryant grounded out to short this first trip. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. He was late there, strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. One ball. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Kicks and deals. Oh. That one cutting but missing down low. Next pitch is outside. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. And a payoff pitch. He's down on strikes. That's out number three. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Phillies one and the Brewers nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the shortstop, Willie Adams. For the Brewers, the shortstop, Willie Adams. The line to kick the pitch. That misses, and it's 1-0. Right-hander kicks, deals. And another ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Near the fence. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. The catcher, Omar Narvaez. Omar Narvaez, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right hater deals. And a good eye there. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Comes up empty. That's strike two. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. He's going to step out of the box, fake butt, do something to break it up. Next one just misses. And a full count now.
and a pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Jordan on the move. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Up next to the walk. The first baseman. Here's Rowdy Telez. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. He powers one out to right field and we're level. It's 1-1. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's gonna win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here here's Keston Hira now batting the designated hitter Kesten. first pitch doesn't find the zone really good check swing right there so difficult to hold off on the slider for the same side thrower very difficult to pick up the release point Swings and misses. That's strike one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. That Next offering it. misses, and it's two and one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Two and two. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Brewers. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Gira leads off first with two down to the inning. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, he saw that change up really well. Just a little early. Still barreled in, as you see. Home run distance just couldn't keep it fair. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Oh. Next pitch misses. And that is ball one. At the belt and fires. That one not close. Now two and two. And there's the ball. Great on the eye spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. Second baseman. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. First offering misses the mark. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Here comes a pitch. Hit slowly on the ground. He'll do it himself. That's the third out. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even at one apiece. Give it all you got. Give it, give it all you got. You can never be like me. Yeah, I 
push until I bleed And I keep it so 100, not afraid to show my teeth You can never be like me, yeah, I push until I bleed And I keep it so 100, yeah, I got some We go to the top of the fifth, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish Leading off to Philadelphia, the first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins pitch yeah. and there's the strike this game has been so tight feels like the next team to score will win it comes up empty on the swing 0-2 okay. now well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one out now. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. In an 0-2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Here's Trevor Story. In there, and it's 0-1. And that's downstairs and outside. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Two gone now. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. And now it is JT Real Muto. Picked up a base hit to center his first time. First pitch, and he just misses. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. That's inside. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Kicks and deals. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Phillies down in order. Still tied. 1-1. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Up now for Milwaukee, Luis Urias. The third baseman, Luis Urias. And he deals. Good eye right there. The wind and the pitch. And a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Stays alive.
One, two now. Got him swinging. And there's one down. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever did when I played. But a slider in the 90s still catches your attention. Even if you're sitting on the pitch, good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Here's Yelich at the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The wind of the pitch. Down and in, moved his feet. Two two now to twenty two. Up the middle, Story handles on the run, sends it over to first. Not in time. He's safe. A nice I'm job getting there. Number Good 20. throw, but Hunter. very difficult to get anybody Hunter. on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. One down. Now it's Hunter Renfro. He's over for one. Morales throws the first. Yelich dives back in. First pitch, not close. Yelich stands at first with one out. And now two and nothing. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. The pitch. Foul ball. Throw over to first. Yelich back easily. The 2 1. Good eye right there. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Righty to the plate. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Two on, one out. And the batter now, Willie Adams. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 0-1. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. On the ground to third. And base hit. And he can't come up with it. But no throw. And they'll have runners at the corners with one out. The run comes in from second. It's 2-1. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. So one out with two aboard. Next for Milwaukee, Omar Narvaez. Now got it. Catcher. And that's in there for strike one. And the 
pitches outside. Ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kyle Gibson up and loosening in the pen. Eflin getting loose as well. A one two. And now two and two. And a pitch. Now drive, base hit. The run scores from third, and they take a two-run lead. That's three singles in a row. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Rowdy Telez, up now for the Brewers. He's already homered here in this one. First baseman. First pitch, just misses. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches in this game. Two on, one out. Swings and misses. And it's one and one. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Real Muto makes the grab. And yeah, there's two away. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. So two down now. And here is Keston Hira. Swings through that one. 0-1. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. First and second, two down. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right-hander deals, gets under and pops it up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. With through five, it's the Brewers three, and the Phillies one. Trust me when I tell you no exceptions to the rule. Bringing blessings when I move. Special on my essence, I'm a blue. Back here at American Family Field, all set for the top of the sixth. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. Brandon. Jordan. Burns back to work. Ball one there. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Ripped on the ground a second. Wong to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The batter number two. Second base. Z. Segura. And digging in for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. On the ground, out to short. Adamas, the throw to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The white field at the three. Bryce. Harper. Two outs, bases empty. And now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. MVP, MVP. 
in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That one misses, and the count even one and one. There's a strike. And a ball and two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Third out. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers three and the Phillies one. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Kyle Gibson. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Welcome back, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. The line of the pitch. Taylor. That one drifts inside. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen, Sam Coonrod, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Brogdon getting cranked up as well. The next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's the third. Bryant over to pick it up. And he saved the first. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. So digging in, Colton Wong. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Taylor aboard here at first with nobody out. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Gibson checks on the runner. Taylor back in on the dive. Left-hand hitter waits. Now 3-0. and oh. Runner at first with no outs here. There's a strike, three and one. Hit hard, base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, Third nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed Ooh, through it nice yeah. enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now the number two hitter, Luis Orias. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ground ball could be two. Bryant to second onto Hoskins. Double play. The left fielder, number 22, Christian Yelich. And now it's Christian Yelich. And he can't make the play. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Brewers strand one, but they still lead it 3-1. And 
welcome back. Top of inning number seven. And now it's the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. The right-hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Josh Hader, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. Suter warming up as well. Righty delivers. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Next one in the dirt. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. First offering misses badly for ball one. And a pitch. And a strike in there. Out towards right center field. Renfro settles under it and makes the catch. Out number two. Up next to Philadelphia, the third baseman, Chris. Two Bryant. outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Chris Bryant. First offering, and it just misses. Late with the swing there. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Two outs. The other way, and he beats the shift. Now batting. The first and the batter now Reese. is Reese Hoskins. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. The tying run at the plate. And the 1-0 misses low. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. 
and it is two and one. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. At the belt and fires. Chopped to the left side. They get the force, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Hunter Renfro. For the Brewers, the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. comes a pitch ball one no strikes the line to kick the pitch swings and misses and one down below the zone the pitch in there and so now one and two love how vocal the umpire is today no doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And here it comes. Stays alive. In the air, center field. Jordan sizing this one up. Puts it away for the out. Up next to the ball club. The shortstop. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. One for three. They say you win. And he'll one. Tapped softly on the ground. Tosses the first. Two up, two down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Now batting. Catcher. Omar. Narvaez. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Omar Narvaez. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. Do it out. And the righty deals. That one spoiled, and they count now two and one. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. In the air to left center, Jordan. Ranging to his right, makes the grab on the run. And that is that. Nobody left for Milwaukee as the lead remains 3-1. So Josh Hader gets the call of the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Number 71. Trust me, you know the sex is special. Hey, girl. 
Trevor Story comes up to the plate. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? And he deals. Good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The pitch. In the air out to center. Renfro drifts towards it. And there's one away. Now batting. Ketcher. JT Real Muto. JT Real Muto steps in. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Not a swing you want to watch again. Deal two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Stays alive. Way inside, gets out of the way. pitch and fouled off and a pitch swing and a miss and he's down on strikes and there's two down uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Good contact guy, good defender. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his own. And that is that. Down quickly, go the Phillies. Score holds, it's 3-1. Here in Milwaukee. And now here is Rowdy Tillet. For the Brewers, the first baseman, Rowdy Scarrett. And a pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. A wind and a pitch. That misses the zone. Dow 2-0. Oh. Riding to the plate. That one at the knees for a strike. Next pitch misses inside. Three and one. Ball.
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Now here is Keston Hira. The designated hitter. Keston. Well struck right field. And that one hops the wall. Low comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Brewers. Now batting, center fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Base hit, one run in already. The throw in, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. They get back to pad their lead up to three. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So up next, Colt Wong. Up next to Milwaukee, the second baseman. In there, and it's Owen Wong. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you need. And the right-hander deals. There's the swing and a miss. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Gura on third. Taylor at first with no outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 0-2. Little belts are out in front of the plate. Fires over to Hoskins. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Third baseman, number two. Louis. Two on with one out. Up now for Milwaukee, Luis Urias. Yeah, the first offering is not close. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. And that one wrapped foul. Pitch misses there. Got a count two and one. Second and third here. One away. Next offering is foul back. Right-handed reliever. Stays alive. Comes the 2 2. And now it's filled up. One down, runners at second and third. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away. Big strikeout right there, and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. And he was in, so now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now.
Now it's Christian Yelich. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs, two in scored position. Next off is down low. Left hand hitter waits. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. That one to first. He handles it himself. What a play to end the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. Last chance coming up for the Phillies. Devin Williams into the game, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 38. We go to the ninth, so digging in now for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. Phil's in striking distance, but has some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. First pitch, not close. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. Inside, just missed. The wide to kick the two of them. Fought off foul. Next pitch is outside. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Here's Harper in there. The white field of the three. Bryce. Ripped to third and caught. Up next to Philadelphia, the left field, Kyle Schwarber. And now, Kyle Schwarber. Oh, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in nope. right here. First offering misses the mark. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark. Two and oh. Lifted in the air, right center field. Taylor should have this one. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. The back of the field. Designated hitter. Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos digs in now.
And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the righty deals. Nope. Just missed. Two ball, no break. The pitch. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's ball four. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boog. The last one wasn't even close. Runner at first with two away. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Foul ball there. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one and one. Swings through that one out front that time. <laughs> Is just one strike away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here's a one-two. The ball game. It's pretty early in the series to say a must-win game, but when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect your huge win in game one to set the tone. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Schumann. We'll see you soon.